Hey guys, Lance Crone here and I uh, wanted to do a video specifically on how dieting is actually keeping you from losing the body fat that you want to lose. So I know that, that seems uh, you know, somewhat counterproductive or counterintuitive um, to think about it that way, but the reality is, is that most people, especially um, you know, whether I hear from them um, via email or YouTube or my Instagram, um, even on Facebook, um, they are confiding in me that they're struggling to lose body fat and that they've either plateaued or they just cannot stick with what they're doing. So what I usually take a look at is to kind of see what they're eating, what they're consuming. And nine times out of 10, people will explain to me that they're eating healthy stuff. So they'll start describing the foods that they're eating, um, but they have no clue how many calories they should be taking in. That's the first scenario. The second scenario is, they will specifically tell me that they're eating that go-to magical 1200 calories um, and they cannot figure out why they're not losing weight or why they lost in the beginning and they're no longer losing. So a couple of things here to keep in mind is number one, any sort of deficit from your total energy expenditure, which is, that is your basal metabolic rate. Your basal metabolic rate just simply is how many calories you burn at rest plus how many calories you burn throughout the day from activity becomes your total energy expenditure. Burn or, excuse me, uh, consume less calories than that number, you're going to lose weight. The problem is, is there are a bunch of, um, there's a lot of irresponsibility going on with trainers and coaches who are putting their clients in teaching online, etc., that simply going for that 12 to 1300 calories which is like very, very low, this is the cure-all or the end-all be-all to actually get the results that you want. And the problem is, is this is extremely irresponsible and it's so short-sighted. And my problem with this is that it actually can um, essentially, I don't want to say that it damages your metabolism, but it can really slow it down for the time being and, and in such a way that we have to repair it. Um, and strengthen that again. And the main reason why, and this is why dieting sucks, this is the reason that dieting does not work, at least not long term, is because essentially what happens is if I will decrease your calories, your body fat typically will drop because of the deficit. But along with that, your metabolism also declines with the decrease in body fat and the decrease in calories. If we do that too quickly, so for example, if your total energy expenditure is 2,000 calories, I could safely put you at 1,600 calories a day and you're going to be at a 400 calorie deficit which will cause you to lose weight. If we go straight for 1,200 because that's the faster way to do this, which is what all kinds of trainers and coaches are doing, um, what happens is we plummet the metabolism. So yes, you might lose 17, 18, 19 pounds in five or six weeks. But the problem is, is that your body becomes acclimated to that and there's no further, uh, we, we've bottomed out the floor. So there's nowhere else to go to decrease to put you back in that deficit. So this is the problem that we run into with something like this. And so what happens is people go to 1200 calories, they have nowhere else to create a deficit. So it's either work out more or drop below 1200 calories, which just simply is not sustainable. Um, so that's the first reason is that this is not a sustainable lifestyle. So if you are a trainer, you're a coach and you are doing this with your clients, stop doing this because you're damaging their metabolism and you're creating negative habits and negative associations with food. And this is going to end up being a very short term solution to a long term problem. You're not teaching, um, how to manage everyday lifestyle in which the, the person knows how to choose the food. If you have done this, um, you know, and you're trying to lose weight and you're stagnant and you don't know why, understand the very first thing that we have to do is to know what your basal metabolic rate is and your total energy expenditure so that we can appropriately put you at the calories that you need to be at throughout the day. So if you're worried about what you're eating more so than how much, uh, how many calories you're taking in, you're putting the cart before the horse. Um, <clears throat> so with that being said, just understand that if you have done crash dieting and crash dieting is on any sort of diet that, um, or, you know, we'll, we don't have to even use the, the term diet, any sort of eating regimen, whatever you want to call it, 
that you are eating far less or consuming far less calories than a normal deficit, which I don't propose going lower than 500 calories from your total energy expenditure as a deficit. Otherwise, again, you risk, number one, not being able to sustain long-term. Number two, you risk bottoming out your metabolism because the metabolism essentially is fueled by your food and your calories. So if we drop that to such a low number, there's nothing that's fueling the metabolism to tell it keep burning more because I'm going to keep on giving you more fuel. So, um, and yes, I'm really, really breaking that down into the like oversimplistic. Um, but the reality is, is when we have sudden and rapid changes in our um, calories, whether we give a major surplus or whether we do a major deficit, we're sending a signal that there's inconsistency within food, <clears throat> excuse me, within food and calories, which our defense mechanism within the body is when we read that, our number one defense is to begin storing fat for fuel because we're getting irregular um, intake of food. And so that's the number one thing that we do. So for example, if an ice age comes up, food is limited, that's a sudden rapid decrease of calories. So the body says, uh, we don't know whenever we're gonna get food again, go ahead and start storing fat. This is gonna preserve your energy. So understand that this is what's happening when you're doing 12 and 1300 calorie diets that whether somebody's put you on that or whether you think that that's your go-to. So I hope that this helps kind of shed some light that if you are used to doing diets and you're not getting results or you used to get results and you're no longer, this is why. So um, first thing is, is to figure out how many calories a day that you need and don't go below four to 500 calories below that total energy expenditure. So if you've done some crazy weird diets or you, you've tried some things and you feel like you've stagnated or maybe this relates to you, comment below and let me know what your thoughts are or you know maybe if you're struggling with this currently, let me know what you're struggling with. Let me see if I can help you out a little bit. I wanna kinda see um, who deals with what so and uh, see you know if and how I can help you. So uh, comment below if you got something out of this, um, you know, hit the like or love button and let me know that I'm on the right track with these videos so that I can help you and give you things and content that's actually going to take you from the frustrated point that you're at into a point where self-esteem increases, where you like what you see in the mirror and you're not starving yourself just to get some barely, barely results. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys on the next video.